Yeah, she 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 took a she took a sip of the cane sauce. I don't know if you guys know that cane sauce is like all salt, but I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter if your diet is literally as bad as this girl's. It's like a drop in the hat, to be honest, compared to all the terrible, disgusting stuff this girl eats on a daily basis. And she's doing multiple mukbangs at this point on a daily basis. And uh, you know what, dude? It's tough. It's real tough for me to look upon her behavior and think of it as anything other than deplorable. She can do whatever she wants. You know, I, th I know there are a lot of people out there right now. They're going, oh, you know, mukbangs are so gross. They're so disgusting. This is horrible. But they're so quick to make videos on it. And then they're so quick to say, oh, these people shouldn't be doing this. These people should be punished for this. And I'm just thinking, but you have no problem making videos on it yourself. Like you have no problem, you know, putting this on your channel and talking about it. And I get that you're bringing awareness to it or whatever. But a lot of these people... They're they're most definitely making bread off of this uh, this particular type of content. It is what it is. Personally, I think that it is deplorable activity, but it is what it is. Um, I would have a problem with a family member smoking cigarettes. I have a problem with you smoking cigarettes. But guess what? If you want to smoke cigarettes, feel free to do so. As long as it's not against the law, as long as it's not against TOS, as long as it's not against any of the platforms, rules, and regulations, feel free to do so. Um, I, I think that it's obviously not good for you to be sitting there drinking cane sauce. That's kind of crazy. I'm going to not lie to you, bro, and, and I'm going to take the hard stance that drinking cane, <laughs> drinking cane sauce is kind of deplorable, kind of crazy, but you know, <laughs> you know what, dude? Go ahead. Drink your cane sauce. Hashtag uh, live your best life. And I also love that. You know that? You know how like when uh, Badlands Chugs takes a sip of something, he always goes like... And then he fucking downs the drink. It's like she's doing that. She's trying to emulate that almost. Her fingers are getting slowly but surely thicker and thicker. Man, dude, she got that puma on, dude. I remember literally going to high school and literally getting made fun of if you wore a puma. You had to wear one of two things. Or three things, I guess. But it wasn't. It was kind of like... If you wore Adidas, people had no problem with it to a certain degree. Adidas were almost kind of like the accepted but not preferred type of thing. But you either had to wear Nikes or Jordans, dude, or some combination of those two. Otherwise, you were getting made fun of. Uh, but that's the environment I grew up in. I don't, somebody ought to let me know, bro. Is cane sauce really the, the, the real deal? And by the way... If your main reason for going to Cane's is to get the bread or get the sauce, that's irrelevant to me. I can't even believe that you would even bother making that claim. You're telling me the primary reason you're going to Cane's is not for the chicken, but instead for the sauce? That's dumb. That's really, really dumb, bro. And I get it. Sauce might taste good, which it doesn't, by the way. It's basically just a combination of mayonnaise and ketchup. Really salty. That's it. I've had it before because a lot of people were telling me, David, you got to go and get this cane. It's crazy, right? So I rolled up in this spot. There was literally nothing but black people in line. I knew this shit was going to be good, right? I was even there with a black lady. And I was thinking, this has got to be good, right? Obviously, I waited 15 minutes for my order, dude. I ordered the, whatever it was, like a four-piece and some fries, right? And I got it, and I put it in my mouth. And wouldn't you know it, it was mid as fuck. That shit was literally exactly what I thought it was going to be. Not what everybody was saying it was going to be, though. It was extraordinarily very average it would have been better if i just went to the grocery store got a you know the, the the big packs of like i don't whatever brand you want even store brand would be better like if you wanted to get tyson and be a little bougie you can go ahead and do that i'm sure it's like a dollar or two dollars more but even if you want to get like store brand it would be better because guess what you're getting more for less and it tastes better as well and you have the food for the whole month i don't know how many chicken tenders you're eating i can probably eat three or four of them with a fair bit of side with a fair bit of uh french fries on the side but Anyway, uh, Raising Cane's is actually mid as fuck. I'm dying on a hill. I don't care what anybody says, dude. I mean, you know what, though? If, if you're contaminating every single bite with the sauce, that makes sense. Because honestly speaking, the food is almost extraordinarily mid. So you got to put it sauce on it just to make it like a tolerable almost. Kind of like how everybody, when they eat like asparagus or celery, they dip it in ranch before every bite. Because guess what? Celery doesn't taste good. So they got to do something to make it better. But, you know, at that point, if you're coating everything that you eat in, in sauces, I don't think you actually like the food. Still don't, still, still don't understand why she even bothers wiping her mouth. Like, there's almost no purpose to it. You, you're literally about to just body slam more anyway, so why not? Just keep going, dude. She, she's making a lot of money off this, by the way. 
And she's not even doing really anything special. I, I, for some reason, in the last few years, mukbanging has become extraordinarily profitable, especially on the t platforms like TikTok, where you're not really consuming the uh, the content for very long at all. You're just here for four minutes. She's do she is doing a speed run. I'll give it. I'll give her that. Um, speed run on her life. <laughs> I don't know. Like a lot of people are telling me that this is like detrimental for her health. I agree, obviously, but. Also, I would have to say, like, do you say that same thing with your people around you that have, like, you know, that are drinking alcohol consistently? Do you say that to people around you that smoke cigarettes? Do you say that around do, to people that do, that smoke weed or have a chronic addiction to some particular type of thing? Um, if not, dude, I mean, it is what it is, bro. People are going to do things. People trade short-term uh, benefits for long-term defects, right? And this girl, she sees, like, obviously, Nico Avocado... He did the same thing. He doesn't really do that anymore. A lot of people don't realize this, but Nico Avocado was a character. You know that, right? Like, that's not, that's, that, that's his alter ego. Like, that's not how he acts in real life. You can go to his previous or older videos and you'll see that he didn't act like that. He just did that because he knew that that was what people wanted to see and it got views. So that's what he did. He just basically unlocked the card and he just said, he just played it for as long as he could. And yes, he gained a lot of weight. Yes, he definitely lost a lot of health on his bar, but... It was worth it for him because he probably made millions and millions of dollars through the process of doing what he did. For a lot of people, um, including like, for instance, athletes and other professional people, they're totally fine with taking a few hits to the head or, you know, running or exhausting their body through years and years and years of physical abuse to make a lot of money. And it's no difference between that and like a guy like Ronnie Coleman or anything like that. Sure, it's not for the same degree. Morally speaking, like, of course, uh, you know, I would prefer to watch somebody like Ronnie Coleman go on stage um, and see what you, what the human body is capable of doing or like watching professional athletes, you know, really, really master their craft and become really like, you know, deities of the sport. But uh, it's about it's the same shit. It's it's literally the exact same thing. Like if you know what I'm saying, like if you, if you have no problem with a guy spending 20 of years, 20 years of his life uh, playing football. And then when he gets out, he has like CTE, he's got arthritis and he's got like Parkinson syndrome because of all the damage he's done to himself. But guess what? He made like, I don't even know, like $300 million and his family doesn't have to worry about money ever again. It's basically the same shit here to a lesser degree. Um, and it's the decision that she wants to make. But it is crazy. But this is what TikTok is like, you know, TikTok is a very dynamic platform. It's it just breeds extraordinary cringe and very, very like it's very interesting when I see TikTok. It, it almost kind of seems like there's almost no opinions on there with the exception of the opinions that are allowed, if you know what I'm talking about. And also, like, you can't say very much on TikTok in the terms of, like, being based or whatever, but you can most definitely record yourself making tons of videos of you body slamming. I don't even know how many calories this sandwich is. Probably like 800 calories. I probably even way more than that, given the fact that she coats it with cane sauce. So it's just very weird that some platforms have rules and uh, regulations that don't really like path upon path alongside parallel to the other rules. Yeah, just don't even bother wiping your mouth. Damn, bro, that double bite is always crazy, dude. Damn. Don't even bother. Don't even bother, dude. Don't even bother asking for the napkins, dude. I promise, man, if your main, I mean, obviously she's doing this because she knows it's getting views, but she also knows that she's trying to appeal to a particular demographic, which is uh, dudes on the internet that want to beat off to women eating copious amounts of food. And for some reason, I don't know, like I've, I've seen other people that have watched uh, Jelly Beans videos and they go, I think she's, I think she's doing this for feeder content. I think she's trying to appeal to the feeder demographic. And I'm just thinking... Yeah, uh, what you did you not think that was something that's happening? Like, what do you obviously, yeah, like, why would you think that wasn't something that's happening? What and I don't know why I see so many people saying like the most obvious shit, and then somehow people go, That's oh my god, you're so you're so right. Everybody and their mother knows that this girl is doing this for the feed of content. It's not, it's very obvious. Literally, every single video over the last six months since she started doing this. The top comment on every single one is literally feeder content, question mark, or are you doing this to get feeders or whatever? Every single comment, if not the first 50 comments are literally that. So it's not that it's not obvious. It's just for some reason, a lot of people will just say the very obvious thing and a lot of people will cheer, which is, I mean, sure, go ahead, bro. But it'd be the equivalent of like me going, guys, guess what? I'm going to die on this hill. It's going to be so crazy. I know my opinions are like far and they're flabbergastingly crazy, but guess what? I think if you're thirsty, you should drink water. I know. Oh. 
I know that's crazy. I know that's, oh, that's the most base take I've ever had, but I'm going to die on this hill. Like sometimes people just say very obvious shit or they'll represent something that's like nobody's disagreeing with you. Like you ever see those people with the big flags behind them and they're like uh, the, the red, white, and blue, but it's red and black. And it's like, oh, we, you know, I support the firefighters. Like I, I think the firefighters are heroes. And you're just going... Uh, yeah, bro. Did you think that I didn't like, are you trying to argue with me, bro? Like, I know, like, I, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I know the firefighters, nobody ever thought the firefighters were bad people. Like ev everybody, we all agree. Like there's not a single person that's going to be like, nah, firefighters, they all suck, bro. I hate when they rescue kittens and save my grandmother. That's gross. That's gay. You're never going to see that because that's not something that happens ever. Um, it would be different if you had like the Confederate flag behind you in that case. Okay. Well, now we got a disagreement. But if you got the, I support the firefighters, nobody is going to disagree with that. I don't even, you know what I'm talking about? You can represent it. Go ahead. But nobody's going to disagree with you on that. So if you're thinking that's going to like, uh, you know, get somebody to argue with you on that, that's, you're never going to have that happen to you. She's most definitely doing this for feeders, bro. It's terrible. <laughs> it's not good. You know, it's not good to do that. But it is what it is. You know, I, would I get mad at a woman making uh, OnlyFans content for dudes, uh, you know, sucking on her own toes or something like that? Or sitting down on cakes and farting? Or I don't even know, like, uh, you know, putting a whole bunch of spaghetti sauce in her bathtub and role playing as a meatball for 45 minutes while she's on stream? I would never get mad at any of that shit. Because guess what? She, there's an audience for it. There's going to be people out there. There's obviously an audience for this. Should these videos get like six, seven, eight, nine million views? So yeah, there's a big audience for this. These people want to see it, dude. Uh, the copious amounts of people want to watch this woman body slam a lot of calories, and not just her. This is not unique content. There's a lot of people doing this. Look at that, dude. Woo! Damn, bro. That cane sauce easily adding like an extra hundred calories on that. Easy. Whew. The double bite is always crazy. That technique is unparable. That she she learned that shit from Ra's Al Ghul himself. God damn. The technique is crazy. Don't need the rapper anymore. She should just go all out, you know? I think that she should just say fuck it and just make it as messy as humanly possible. Uh, it's going to be very compromised situation to wear a hoodie. Uh, maybe it's cold or whatever, dude. But you got to you gotta commit. You got to commit to this particular type of activity. Like, just start eating in a bathtub. Um, and you know what, dude? Forget about the, what, what was that, a 24-ounce raising cane cup fuck that dude go in there go in there with like a big couple gallons of empty water bottles dude and be like fill it up fill it up go up there tell them fill it up bring it home okay dump it out into your fucking tub just lay in the cane sauce and just dip the dip like 15 sandwiches in it just start dipping the sandwiches in there and just start munching down on the sandwiches while you lay in the cane sauce fart you might as well. Why not? You're already doing deplorable shit. I don't fucking care. At this point, you might as well. This is already at the peak of craziness. You might as well go the whole nine, dude. Fucking sit in raising cane sauce while you eat raising canes. Matter of fact, why stop there, dude? Have the Uber delivery guys just lined up at your door with bags and then just have them throw it into the raising cane sauce and you just dip them and just eat them while the dudes are like basically... They're making it rain with fast food on you while you sit and raising cane sauce. That would be the pinnacle, bro. Um, that's what I would do if I was into this particular demographic of shit. You would just see me. I would just perpetually live in raising cane sauce while I eat uh, various, various fast foods with Uber Eat drivers throwing it upon me. Like I'm some, some sort of like Cleopatra of the new age. She's starting to get a little bit big in the face, bro. Her fingers are starting to inflate a little bit, dude. I remember a few months ago, she didn't have that inflation on her fingers, bro. But she she be getting a little bit. Uh, it's like somebody every day. There's like some guy behind her that's got like an air, like you know those like air pumpers. She's got like a guy behind her just, and then just, just a couple pumps every single day, bro. She's getting bigger and bigger. She did it, bro. That's crazy. I don't even know why she, uh, she never, she never gets water, by the way. She always goes and, oh, man, that face she got right there, dude, that's just crazy as fuck. But I can't, I can't, I can't hate on it, bro. I mean, it's obviously not good. I would never condone this particular type of activity, but she can go ahead and do it.
Yeah, dude, she got that midriff out too, bro. She know what she doing on this shit. Damn, that shirt is easily two sizes too small for you, bro. Would you buy this shit when you was 13? Why you put this small ass shirt on, bro? You know what she doing, bro. You know what she fucking doing, man. Come on. You know what she doing. I know what she's doing, dude. This is obvious. You know, she putting on this little small shirt to show off all the gains. <laughs> I mean, obviously not the gains that you want to see. These are not any gains that anybody would ever brag about. But for her, something to brag about. I mean, look how much look how much extra gut I got from eating that double chipotle burrito the other week. Oh, that shit gave me the bubble gut and indigestion, but it, gave, it put on an extra 15 on me. So you already know I'm representing for all the feeders across the world. By the way, she said that it hurts. Uh, when she slurps down this shit very hard. So that probably adds to it too. I don't really like it when I'm engaging in sexual activity with a woman and she says it hurts. I don't really like that. It can be okay sometimes depending on what's going on. But uh, most of the time I'm not really like, I'm always going like, oh, okay, you want me to stop? Like, what is even going on right now? What do you mean it hurts? Like, I haven't done anything yet. And then you're like, you hurt my feelings. And you're like, oh. Yeah, the, the double stack is insane, bro. And the two different sauces is crazy, dude. God damn, bro. Double burrito is serious, man. She doubled it, bro. There's two burritos right there. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I gotta keep it a buck, dude. She really, she really transcends what most people are doing in this particular field. She is going overboard. I'll give her that. She is. She's actually uh, making the field, like, she's expanding it out, bro. She's testing the waters, bro. We're seeing things we ain't never seen before. And you know what? I got to keep the buck with you. This is endgame shit right here. This is, like, what you do at the end of your career when you know there's nothing left you can do. So you're just going to body slam a couple burritos simultaneously. Uh, this is not practical in any way. You should be starting off real slow. She's only six months into this shit. You know what I'm talking about? Six months in, dude. You already you already body washing two, two giant burritos from Chipotle, bro. That's crazy. I, I mean, from Taco Bell, I, you you can't just start off here, dude. You could, this is end game shit. This is something you do four years later. You know, after you blow out your ACL or something like that. You you don't do this shit the first six months. God damn, bro. You got to build up to this. I'm surprised she can fit it in her mouth. God damn, bro. See, just like, why even bother wiping your mouth? <laughs> Yo, why even bother wiping your mouth at this point, dude? Just let that shit marinate on your lips. <laughs> Apparently some DMs got leaked where somebody asked her if she was uh if she was actually doing this for feeder content. I think she like passively agreed with it. She was like, I mean, if somebody wants to watch it that's into it, it is what it is. Which is the best way to answer that question, I guess. I mean, listen, dude, what do you want, dude? She's not going to, like, agree with it wholeheartedly. But there are going to be people that watch this video right now. The one that you're watching right now. I bet there are three people beating off right now. Right now. To this monkey. To the maple syrup. To Davina back here. Maybe to me. I don't know. There are a bunch of people that just randomly beat off to your shit. That doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It's okay that somebody beats off to you. You could take it as a compliment. Sometimes it's not even a bad thing. And I don't even think you're gay because somebody beats off to you. It's okay. If you didn't do anything to contribute to the beating offness, you're not weird for that. Like I saw somebody recently saying, if somebody watches you, you got a whole bunch of people beating off to you, then you're just gay or you're just weird or something like that. How am I weird because somebody beat off to me? I didn't tell them to beat off. I don't want you to beat off to me. But if you're beating off to me, I can't control the fact that you're beating off to me. Same thing for her. I mean, granted, she is most definitely, you know, giving the people fuel. This is crazy things. It's like, it'd be like if I was on screen out going, yeah, guys, you know, look, listen, guys, don't, don't beat off to me. Don't, don't ever, don't whip it out and beat off to me right now. Please don't do that. You know, it's just not the right thing to do. Just don't do like that. That's 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 basically what she's doing. Like she's uh, she's giving them a lot of fuel and dudes definitely got meat out right now. As we watch this video, four dudes just just busted. She making those smiley faces, too, bro. Just drip it on your belly button, dude. Wait, where is your belly button? I don't know why she has to inhale. It's got to be some kind of sexual thing, right? Kind of like when you're, when you, I mean, I've watched, I've watched a lot of porn. 
Uh, but I've never really heard a woman like intake and go <gasps> like maybe I mean maybe that's a thing but I I mean I've heard before at the end of it where you know something is transpiring maybe you hear like a, uh, 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 and then at the end of like <gasps> uh, 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 I've heard that but I've never heard like a <gasps> I wonder what the Taco Bell employee thought when she ordered this. Like, do, do you think he imagined that this girl would literally just be body slamming that shit? Like, did you think that, like, he was like, oh, she's she's getting this for her boyfriend, for her mom, for her dad. Maybe she's going to have half for herself. And then, like, he pulls up his TikTok later on and goes like, oh, my gosh, she ate them both with sauce? Under four minutes as well. I'll give her that, dude. That's a speed run, bro. Can anybody beat that record, dude? Uh, two, two, two Taco Bell mukbang burritos in under four minutes, dude. That's a that's a talent right there. That's that's a real. That's write it on your resume. I'm sure somebody in Dubai wants to see this shit. Somebody will pay you over there. She got that midriff like crazy, bro. She didn't even wipe off properly, dude. Damn. She is swallowing it, dude. Like, the food, you can't just be fitting, like, several bites in your mouth like this, dude. She is swallowing it. She's committed. You, you can't use food on OnlyFans. You know that, right? You can't do that. So, she got to do it here, and then maybe if she ever did make it OnlyFans... She pick it up over there. You, there are some ways to skate by. There are some dildos out there that are shaped in the shape of corn or like a potato or maybe like, uh, I don't know, like what's a really prolific food that a lot of people look at when they see like sexual objects. Like, I don't know, like a watermelon or something. I don't fucking know, dude. Whew, damn, bro. That's... I wonder if her mom watches her videos, dude. Dude, she coded that shit again. It's cool. Oh my god. She put even more cheese sauce on that. Damn, bro. The mouth noises are really uncomfortable, dude. You know, we, we all do we all do deplorable stuff that we wouldn't ordinarily do, but we do it because we're getting paid. Um, she even got some co she I think she got some sauce on the strap of her pants right now, bro. I think that's some raisin cane sauce right there, dude. I'm not sure. It, it might be from the she does do two or three mukbangs in a day now. She's actually upping in it because I feel like she knows she hit a she hit a gold mine on this shit, dude. But there are a lot of times where you do something that maybe you don't want to do, but you do it because the money is right. Like, for instance, I had a friend, and he was really deep in student loans debt. I think he had to pay off something like $30,000 in student loan debt. And he was on a, an app for sugar babies. He's a black man. He's a nice-looking black man. And there was a, a beautiful elder, elderly woman. I think she was upwards in the – I think she was in the late 70s. She had to almost have been 80 years old. She hit him up, and she said, listen – I'm going to fly you out. You come over here. You pipe me down. Okay? I'll give you a, a certain amount of money that you can spend. And all you got to do, you can just throughout the day, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to give you an allowance. I will pay off your student loans debt. You come over. You pipe me down. You munch my shit up a little bit. And I'll pay you. Right? And he said, okay. And keep in mind, he lives over here in Massachusetts. She flew him out over to California. He was over there for about two months. And I remember calling him up and I would be like, yo, bro, you trying to play Fortnite? He'd be like, oh, man, I can't right now, bro. This bitch, I got to eat this bitch's pussy out real quick, bro. That shit is real fucking dry, bro. I got to put like canola oil on it or something. And he told me that he had to lerp it up, bro. And that's what he had to do. And he didn't want to do it, but the price was right. And we all do things that are not necessarily things we want to do, but you do it because you're getting paid. That's like every single job ever, right? 
and that's why I would always support like the the porn industry at least here in America I know there are some porn industries in other countries that are maybe not as favorable but most of the time here in America uh, if you're getting paid for porn it's probably because you want to do it so if you wanted to do it I have no problem with that that's completely fine in the same way that this girl is sitting here doing this particular video that obviously is super bad <laughs> super bad for her she's getting like uh, tons of people that are probably hitting her up with meat pictures and things such and so forth it's not good but the price is right, so she's going to do it. And that's okay. Don't condone the behavior, obviously. Damn. I don't know why she got to eat it so fast, dude. Is it really, like, part of the kink is that you have to see the woman eat it fast? Like, I would... I mean, look, dude. I can't really relate to this kink. I really can't, personally. It's like being into feet... Or being into like somebody peeing in your mouth and things like that. I've had somebody pee in my mouth before, but not like I didn't know it was pee. You know how girls are. Oh, it's squirt. And then you Google it and you're like, oh, 90% of it's pee. I guess I've been just like fucking, you know, whatever. Girls have just been peeing on me. But uh, I've never had that happen to me since then because I'm, what the fuck? Like I'm not voluntarily taking pee. But the same thing um, here is like, I would just, I would just want to know. Like, why is it got to be under a certain time period? Is this really like that is the the meta? Is it got to be under a time period, or is it just because it's on TikTok? The breathing is also extreme, dude. I don't know if she has like respiratory issues or something like that, dude. She got some sauce on her gut too, bro. See, this is what I'm saying. You already getting messy as fuck. Damn, there was no sauce left. She cleaned that shit. You already getting messy, bro. Just go outside and like one of the, you know those like blow up, those like little children blow up uh, pools that you could put outside or whatever, dude. Um, just get one of those and just get a whole, just, all right, if you don't want to do cane sauce because it might be a little bit too expensive, you could probably just see if you can get like a good, a good deal on some mayonnaise or whatever. Just fill up the cart with like a hundred or two hundred mayonnaises, right? Helms mayonnaise or even the store brand. Nobody would even question it. Just start dumping it out into mayonnaise, bro, into the pool and just laying that shit. Just, like, marinate your body into mayonnaise, dude. Just feel it, right? And then keep in mind, after you're done recording 15, 20, 30 videos, just get somebody to hose you off, bro. Why does it matter, dude? You're already disgusting. You might as well just go to full, the full all the way. I would. I would go. If I was doing this shit, bro, I would literally be beating off with mayonnaise, bro. Having sex with pizzas, dude. Whatever, bro. I would be having sex with these burritos, and then I would eat them after. Obviously, I wouldn't finish in the burrito, but I'm clean. If I would have sex with, if I was to have sex with food with my penis, dude, it'd be fine. There'd be no dirtiness to it. I don't wash my hands very frequently, though. Oh, you gotta watch out for them fingers, bro. Damn. She unstoppable, dude. She's doing this shit in her childhood bedroom, too, man. She grew up here. All the memories, all the sweet times that you had those Polly Pockets and the Easy Bake Ovens, bro. You know, you're just sitting there. You're thinking your life's going to be great. And then you grow up, and here you are. You're just munching down on two Taco Bell burritos while all your ancestors is looking down on you. Like, you know, like, is this what I died for? You know, is this what I is this, is this what I did? Like, I fought in World War II. I fought, I fought the Vikings. I fought all these people. And now I'm looking down at my great, 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 and my great, great, great granddaughter. And she's eating more food than I've ever eaten in my entire life in this one city, right? I don't even know what this burrito is. Uh, obviously, with disgust, they're looking down at money like this. Because that's tough. It's got to be tough, man. Think about, think about all the people that have, that took the time to reproduce while dying of like a yeast infection. You know what I'm talking about? Like back then, there was no way to get rid of a yeast infection. Like, that's just what it was. You were just a bakery. So once you got that yeast infection, it was what it was. You know, you just had to hopefully find a guy that was going to use that yeast for good. Um, same thing with dudes. You know, I did dudes back then were dying of literal diarrhea. You know, you woke up, you used the bathroom, and then you just said, GG, mom, I'm going to die tomorrow. It is what it is. I got diarrhea. Um, here's my, here's all my worldly, my earthly possessions. So that way you can pass it along to your family and whatever. Um, here you go. One horseshoe, uh, a blade of grass that I picked out of the lawn a month ago. It's turning yellow, obviously. And 14 corks from a bottle that I didn't even open. I found them on the floor. Here you go, mom. Make sure you, you give this to your next son or something like that. That's just what it was. You just died randomly. Like things just happened. And it was like, oh, 
your son died yesterday? I was like, yeah. They're like, what happened? He stubbed his toe two weeks ago and just died. That's what it was. But anyway. What a beautiful lady, bro. What a beautiful young lady. American dream right here. This is this is what Bill Clinton would have wanted. Damn. Modern medicine has really taken us far, bro. So that way we can body slam food like this. Gotta body slam that. What, what are they? The Baja Blast or whatever that shit is? I've never tried it. Is the Baja Blast good? Damn, six donuts, bro. Again, I don't know why I should be doing these donuts ones. The donut ones are probably some of the worst because each donut is literally chilling around... Oh, these are the Krispy Kremes, too. That's crazy, bro. The Dunkin' Donuts ones are already bad. Dude, you got the Deluxe Donuts. The Krispy Kremes are on some different shit, bro. Each one of those got to be at least 600, 700 calories. That's crazy. And a soda? And a metal straw. Damn, them arms starting to get a little bit thick. Damn, them forearms starting to get a little bit meaty, bro. Is this the same day? Hold up. Oh, this is the same day, bro. Peep, peep the outfit. She had the double Chipotle. My bad. The double the double Taco Bell. And then after she was done swallowing it up, she went for the donuts. God damn, Jelly Bean. That's on some different shit, bro. You couldn't even wait a day, bro? You're doing this shit literally video to video, bro. I can just imagine the background is just more food that she's going to record for the next video. Yeah, if it were me, I had to take a shower after all this, bro. Each one of these videos requires I'm sweating up a fucking storm, bro. I I probably feel depressed. I probably have to go and like call my therapist and see if I can get some counseling after what I just did. Forehead big as hell, dude. Some mega mind shit. Oh, she didn't do the technique. She didn't like fold it on top of itself. Why is it crunchy? I feel like if I took I feel like if I took a bite out of a donut like that, I like I feel like okay, the glaze is definitely I get it, but like I feel like I would want less of that crunch. It kind of seems a little bit concerning. But I guess it doesn't matter. Like if you're eating six donuts, it doesn't really matter what it tastes like or what consistency it is. It is what it is. You're just eating it. Which in a way is kind of sad, right? Because like now you're taken away from your next experiences right because every time you eat now you're just gonna be thinking like fuck it like i'm just eating this shit because i'm eating it there's really no value anymore in the food because it's, you're just fucking eating so often <laughs> the boston cream pie damn Woo! damn the boston cream pies are really calorie dense dude Dude, why she gotta look at us when she eat that shit too? Damn, bro, go and fucking close your eyes and your mouth. This is this is kind of like what I imagine a Velociraptor would have looked like in the modern age, you know? Like if Jelly Bean ever became like a zombie dude, it would be GG for most people, bro. Like you better hope you got that cardio to run away, bro. Cause Jelly Bean, once she get a hold of you, bro, it's over. Like she, by the time she grabs your foot, you look down, half your body's already done. She's not even one of the zombies that bites you so you could turn into another zombie. She's just eating you to eat you, bro. You, you, she doesn't even want to further the race of zombies, bro. She just wants to eat. That shit's kind of crunchy, bro. I don't know. That should, it sounds like it got bones in it. I like my donuts boneless. <sighs> Dry as hell, too, bro. Donuts are super dense. Take a sip. Bro, why is that crunchy? Cinnamon bun. Bro, why is it crunchy? Oh. Can, okay, look. I know this might be a monumentous task for somebody, but given that this video and the other video were taken in the same day, can, does any, can anybody do the math on doing these six donuts and also the two Taco Bell big burrito things with the I mean you don't have to do the sauces you could if you want to I'm just, nobody has to do this but if somebody could I would like pin it I'll pin the com I'll pin the comment dude I'll pin the comment and uh I just want to know how many calories this is bro six of these donuts 
which is already astronomical. And then you have the burritos too, which seem like that, those were the side pieces uh, and the sauce and, and the drinks as well. If somebody could do that. I will, I'll literally suck a camel meat. Like, I'll, you know, like, I'll love you. there was more to these videos you know like we're just fun to which all we are doing is just watching a a thin girl slowly but surely accumulate weight on her body because she's be you know enabling men on the internet to beat off to her as she eats like four or five six seven thousand calories in a sitting there's no con like that's i mean there's really not much here dude like there's no dialogue there's no oh yeah it has good consistency the 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 service was good um, I saw how they made it. It's good value for the food. Like, there's none of that. There's no. There's not even a talking. Like, oh yeah, guys, today I went. And I got a fucking. I don't know, dude. I got an umbrella. It wasn't even raining, but I got to just be like. There's none of that. There's no story. Nothing. It's just her sitting down, gaining weight, eating food. Uh, but you know what? It's crazy. But that's what people want. Not me though. I find it uncomfortable. Kind of like watching a monitor lizard eat like a snake or something. Like, have you guys ever seen like? A Komodo dragon eat a goat. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I've seen that before. It's, like, really uncomfortable. I guess it's, like, nature. But, like, you see it. And then, like, the the, the goat is just chilling. And the Komodo dragon grabs it. And then the goat just kind of chills. It's just, like, it just accepts its fate. You know, like a baby goat. And then it, and then the, the Komodo dragon just eats it whole. You know, just sits there and just goes. And just you know, puts it down his throat. Like, you guys ever see that video of the seagull eating the rabbit? There was, like, a dead rabbit or something, bro. And the, 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 the seagull just walked up to it and just swallowed it. Like, just ate it. And there was other seagulls, like, looking at him. And they were like, bro, uh, what are you, what is this? What are you doing right now? What are you, why are you eating that shit like that, bro? Like, all the seagulls are literally looking at him like this. Like, damn, bro. Like, I get it. You're hungry. But this is on some different shit, bro. Like, I'm I'm waiting for this dude to drop a couple French fries. You you I, I mean I, I maybe you're too hungry, but like goddamn, bro, that's a whole that's a whole man right there. You just ate, bro. That's crazy. But you know what? There's actually a seagull around where I live. There's a seagull down by downtown Boston, right? If you go to the commons and down, I don't know if he's dead because I don't know how long seagulls live. And the life of a seagull is also very compromised. Like shit just happens sometimes. Like maybe you live in your life. And like a nine-year-old is riding a bike and then your legs are gone. So I don't know if he's like still living around or whatever. But he had hella seagull bitches too. Um, this seagull would like hunt uh, pigeons. Like you would, you know, most seagulls would wait for you to drop a french fry or a piece of bread or something like that. Or maybe they even go for it while you're not paying attention. But there's, there's a seagull that would just wait by the swan ponds. And for a, like a pigeon to like, you know, dip its head into the water to get some a drink or something. And he would like swoop down. And he would like grab this the pigeon by the back of the neck. He would either do one of two strategies. He would either snap your neck of the, the pigeon or he would drown it. And then he would just take the body and he would just munch that shit up in this like little crevice that he had. And I remember like I, I, I never saw it firsthand, but there's a few videos on YouTube you can find of him. I think it's like Boston Seagull Eats Pigeon or something like that. I'm sure you can find it. But the seagull um, would have multiple seagull women that would all want to be with him because he was so successful at eating. And think about this, right? You're a seagull. You don't know when your next meal is coming. But then you see this big man coming out of nowhere eating pigeons. You're looking like, well, it's not the best, but it's protein. You know what I'm talking about? You got to work with what you got. As a seagull woman, you're limited on options. You don't. You know what I'm talking about? Like, in, in me and you, if you wanted to get a nice, successful man, well, you can get a lawyer, you can get a doctor, you can get some guy that, you know, a mechanic, a blue-collar guy. Um, there's plenty of options, but for seagulls, they don't have a lot of options. You know what I'm talking about? You can't just shop around. There's no like dating apps. There's no like, you know what I'm talking about? For you pages where you can scroll through and see. No, there's none of that. You got to find a seagull that's going to facilitate the lifestyle you want. And there's only like four or five different types of seagulls, right? And this guy's an optimistic. He's, he's going to take his chances and he's going to fucking do what he, he he's going to do what he needs to do. Um, uh, but that's just crazy, bro. Uh, for a long time, I kind of worried whether or not children were safe around that area because if this dude's swallowing pigeons, eventually he's going to get a bigger appetite and he's going to go for something more. And, you know, if your child is walking around minding its own business um, and you look away for a second, I know there are a lot of child predators, but, like, dude, this seagull 
might actually be, you know, like a real big threat, you know, like keep, that's all I'm saying. Like if you got children below the age of seven, make sure you're looking out because there could be something, a seagull, and you might not have your child anymore because that dude might have eaten it. It's not good. It doesn't matter. It's you're just eating it to eat it at this point. It literally doesn't matter. Don't act like you you care about the taste. It literally doesn't matter. That shit's in your mouth. It don't matter, bro. It's actually kind of disrespectful that she would even make that face at all. Like, do we even care that you don't care about that shit? Like, let's be honest here for a second. If dudes are here watching you beat off to this shit, right? They're just beating off this shit. Uh, you gotta cater to the genre. I mean, make every bite count and make every single you know, smile after every bite because, listen, these dudes are beating off, right? They need that good quality content. So these dudes, you know, they want to see you smile, I guess. It's not good. I get it. But you, so what? You're going to eat it, right? So the fuck what? You, you, your body in it. Like, don't don't act like you got morals. You don't give a fuck, bro. Your mouth don't have feelings at this point, dude. It, it, it's, just, it's just a hole to consume at this point. That's it. But anyway, guys, uh, we're gonna end the video here. What do you guys think about Jelly Bean? She's a beautiful girl, isn't she? Beautiful woman, beautiful individual, uh, great specimen of human being. I'd love to have a conversation with any of these individuals, but um, they never wanna have talks, bro. I've hit up so many people, man. It's actually crazy. I don't know if it's because like I'm not PG, I guess. I don't know, man. But there are a lot of people on the internet that just like don't wanna have conversations for some reason. Like, what's up? Like, you guys don't have conversations with people in real life? I get it. Like, we're all antisocial. But, like, you're that antisocial where you don't even look at DMs, dude? Come on, dude. I didn't even say anything crazy. But anyway, um, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch this video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in donut. That's that's the, the MVP of this video. She downed six of them in, I don't even know, three minutes. Six and three minutes, bro. What a fucking record, dude. This girl, dude, she's breaking records that didn't even exist. Like, these, nobody even asked her to do it, you know? It's not like somebody was like, I bet you can't, I bet you can't eat six donuts in three minutes. Nobody said that. She was just like, I'm gonna break the where, I'm gonna break the record. Six donuts in three minutes. And the other people were like, whoa, whoa, uh, nah, we don't, who, nobody asked you to do that, right? Like, we don't need you, it's good. That's, nobody even wants that record to be broken. That's not even a record that we want up. We're good. We don't need that to happen. And then you just see her swallowing the donuts, inhaling. <gasps> swallowing the donuts. Like, oh, my God. You didn't even wait. You already had the donuts. You know, it's like that. It just happens. You just you don't even know what's happening until you look away. And then suddenly six donuts are evaporated off a plate. And then Jelly Bean is just sitting there hyperventilating because she has got another plate of Chipotle with cane sauce on the side ready to go. And you're just sitting there, like, contemplating your whole life. Anyway. You're a beautiful person. You're a specimen of human being. I love the way that you contour your eyebrows. Do you work on your eyebrows? You shouldn't. Your eyebrows are delicately beautiful regardless of how you shape them, but I prefer natriel. I love the way they're shaped. I love the way that they contour across your face, man or woman. You think I care? I don't care. I love them regardless, and I love you. I think you're a beautiful specimen of human being, and I want to kiss on your eyebrows to ensure that I get the flavor upon my lips. Why do I need Vaseline? Why do I need chapstick when I can get this sweet, glistening love from your eyebrows that's what i really need i don't need nothing i don't need anything else i got your eyebrows and sometimes maybe a little bit of your elbow too the elbow grease is really really actually appetizing and super nutritious uh, for the soul and i recommend anybody that's going to be trying to enjoy the love of somebody else there are a few things that you can do kissing elbows licking elbows and you know what i really feel like is really good too is grabbing rib cage I don't know if you guys have ever had somebody be able to like just sit there. No, not even on anything sexual. Just somebody just grab your rib cage and just, you know what I'm talking about? No feeling, not like this or anything like that. Just grab it. Just have that sensation where somebody is grabbing on your rib cage. It's kind of satisfying. It's really satisfying in a way. I've had it happen to me a few times. I like it. And this is a guy that, you know, I'm telling you straight out. I don't even like having my nipples licked in any way. Like I don't even get anything from that. But I get more satisfaction from somebody grabbing on my rib cage. Not in a sexual way, just kind of like in a really satisfying way. You know what I'm talking about? Kind of like when you watch um glass break or if you watch styrofoam be melted it's like that like i feel that when somebody grabs my rib cage maybe you should do that for somebody you love but anyway not your mom or anything like that that's weird but like your significant other or something like that but anyway um we're gonna have the video here social medias will be linked down below enjoy the rest of your day guys